Well, here we are in the studios of Highland to launch the Donegal Atlantic Way Endurance Race. I'm joined by Sean Stewart and uh, Sean McFadden. Gentlemen, you're welcome to the studio. Thanks. So much. Thanks, mate. Well, Sean, well, Sean McFadden, that is. We'll go to you first of all, Sean. Uh, tell us about the Donegal Wild Atlantic Way uh, Ultra Race and how did this all come about? Well, I suppose myself and Sean has been competing in ultra racing for the last maybe 10 years or maybe 6 years only. And uh, we've always talked about doing our own race in our own our own county. And uh, we've come up with this one around the Wild Atlantic Way. So it's kind of suitable to a lot of, um, I suppose, leisure cyclists and families and, and maybe more businesses that can take it on um, because it's just cycling only. Yeah, before we go into to the target of people that you want to, to come and take part in this because there's going to be different levels of it what's making this so unique compared to everything else well I suppose making it so unique they're going around the Wild Atlantic Way and you know the Wild Atlantic Way is a, it's a beautiful area and you know, we've cycled it so many times ourselves and uh, we thought that we'd make a race of it and you know it's a, it's a beautiful area you know there's some really icon viewing point, points on it and we're kind of going on a, on a real good Hopefully, good weather. You know, not that's not in the middle of, of the winter, so people can enjoy it and cycling through the middle of the night and, and taking it all in and taking it all on board. Let's talk about the type of people you want to compete in this, Sean. Yes, uh, because uh, there's there's really two categories. There's the serious competitors, yeah. where there will be a lot of interest, and and then there's the folks from Donegal, Derry, and Tyrone, and the rest of the country that's that right. want to give themselves a challenge. True. Um, well, it's open. There's obviously you've got the solo category. Um, now it's a big ask. Um, 540 kilometres odd. Um, so for one one person to do that on their own, you know they need to be a fairly serious athlete. But uh, after that, then you've got two person, four person, and, and eight person teams. So um, you know we'd be expecting uh, a lot of different levels of fitness and and people from all over the the country coming to do it. You know, um, I already know of uh, two guys from New Zealand coming to do it. So yeah. hopefully we'll get um, some internationals as well. Um, it's a specialised distance, so there's there's only going to be a certain type of competitor that's going to come for this. Uh, as well, as? if if you break it up into an eight person team, um, you know it's, you're looking at sixty kilometres each, which is you know well achievable for the for the average cyclist um, and for you know your your Sunday. Sunday club cyclist yeah. um, so you no, know, the, the elites will hopefully be there but we're, we're kind of targeting uh, just the ar- average um, club cyclist as well to come and take it on you know? yeah. what, is there many other races of this type around the country um, being he- held at the moment there is there is a couple yeah um, but I think what's unique about this is that it's not super long um, the race around Ireland is obviously the, the whole perimeter um, and it's it's a very big ask um, there's another one that is taken in the whole Atlantic way um, again it's it's a, a extra long distance whereas this is somewhere in between and I think it's um, it's an achievable goal for most people um, and plus two it's a good stepping stone for people who want to maybe go and do the full race around Ireland or further things like race across America yeah well Sean we know what you've achieved on the bike and running and, and on the water as well the winner of the race in 2015 you've done a lot of challenges across the country and tackled a lot of courses is this a challenging course given the geography and the type of terrain that, that Donegal has compared to the rest of the country oh, it sure is you know the, the terrain around this is, is really tough you know we've seen that this year in the, in the race I knew a few guys that was doing the race and you know it was the train that got them on the bike. So this is going to be really tough. Like I think there's 5,700 metres of climbing on it. And the roads in Donegal, they're, they're not the best. They're, they're, you know, they're, they're rugged, they're tough. And sometimes you feel that you're cycling with a flat wheel, but you're not. So you know it's going to be tough for the, for the solos and maybe for the two-man teams. But the fours and the eight... That's why we've put them in there. Hopefully that you know they can do it and enjoy it and do 30 and 40 kilometres and then jump in the van and have a rest and, and take it on again. Because if there is leisure cyclists who are going to tackle this and we're here to launch it now at the, at the at the end of March, now is the time to start seriously thinking about getting the training milestone. Sean? Oh yeah, like, you know I mean, I think we have someone like maybe the highest members of Cycling Ireland and Donegal. We have 17 cycling clubs, maybe more, maybe it's 20 at the minute. So this is what we're targeting so some people don't like racing and they don't like that 
name of racing so this is kind of what we're targeting you know something that they can target and achieve and get the finishers medal and and stuff like that you know with, with people that they cycle with every day every saturday and sunday and you yeah. know there's people out there doing six and seven hour rides on a saturday and sunday and stopping stopping for coffee and stuff like that so this is kind of what we're targeting you know yeah what's the basic uh route of the course what what way is it going around the county of donegal show? yeah so it's um we're obviously starting in the madrigal hotel and that's our base um uh, for, for the race and it's leaving and taking in the any show one basically the any show one hundred and um, that's the, the start of the route. Uh, you you obviously take in Memorial Gap with the first major climb, um, which is testing, which is testing <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, um, and then come back through Little Kenny. You're then following the the Wild Atlantic Way uh, towards Rathmullen. Um, you go over Knockalla, take in Fanet Head, and you cross the Harry Blenny Bridge um, onto the Atlantic Drive. Uh, it takes you through Creasley Dunfanaghy. We have included Horn Head just for for an extra little bit. And uh, you then followed on through um, the Bloody Foreland, uh, down as far as Carrick Finn. You follow the N56 in uh, through Glenties in Ardra, uh, and then back around by Sleeve League, Donegal Town, and then we take it back through Barnes Moor Gap to, to finish in Letterkenny again. Yeah. So that's uh, pretty much the outline of the route, yeah. Which is a massive route. It is, but stuff on it. when you think about it, you know, on a weekly basis, we'd we'd ride a lot of those roads. Um, obviously not in one go, but yeah. you know, everything's within uh, touching distance from Little Kenny, really. Yeah. You know? So it's it sounds like a massive distance, but when you break it into sections, you know, it's it's not not as achievable yeah. for most. You yeah. know? Yeah. He's, uh put a feeder out of, of the event a number of weeks ago, Sean. What sort of response has it in these early stages been like? Uh, we've had a good we've had a good response, you know, from a lot of. Um, local clubs and boys that's looking to do it and even you know some international boys like of uh, maybe Joe Barr and and Euron Quinn that holds the 12 hour record for the um, one in Sligo recently there so you know uh, and, and hopefully Joe that may be able to bring a few more high standard of, of cyclists there but you know we're not concentrating really on the on the elite part of it we want people to come out and, and kind of enjoy it as a, a four man and an eight man and a two man team so the at the minute things is good um, you know top of my head there could be at least 20 teams there so far so we just we're keen to get the registration open when the, when people's keen to enter we're kind of keen to get registration open as soon as possible and myself and Sean's got everything in place now and we're just kind of ready to launch it as yeah just a reminder listeners as of now uh, yes. here on Highland we're officially launching it so registration is available online at Donegal Atlantic Way Ultra uh, dot com. The date of the event is Friday the 24th of June. Was there many problems in trying to get a date organised, Sean, for it, given the, the high level of interest in cycling that Sean, yeah. Sean alluded to and with so many events on in the county? True, well, I suppose we had originally looked at the, the June bike holiday weekend, but um, the, there's already a very successful Donegal three-day on that weekend, um, so we didn't want to be taking, taking riders away from other races. And we kind of looked at the race, race around Ireland, and we were kind of worked back from it because we thought it might be a good preparation event. So two of those things kind of added up, and we, we got this weekend. It, it suited suited us as organisers. Um, didn't really clash with other major cycling events on at the time, and we felt it was probably a good time for holiday makers as well who want to come and see the Wild Atlantic Way. So you know you have to realise too that there's there's crew coming with uh, each cyclist. So you know it's not just one solo rider there's going to be three or four people and we're hoping to bring lots of people to the county you know for that weekend yeah you're one of the organizers so you're not going to be able to compete Un the weekend. unfortunately not this year no but no. you've got a couple of other events uh, uh coming up which are just as grueling huh, yeah year? well um uh, kind of a few long events coming up of uh, the itera expedition race uh in august it's down in um killarney it moves around the world it's, it's actually in ireland this year so um myself and a guy from galway are being joined by uh two new zealand uh uh, a guy and a girl actually so um, looking forward to that a lot of long what's days what's it consist of? it's a multi-sport event so it's um, going to be a mixture of uh, kayaking mountain biking uh, trail running um, I actually think there's a, a bit of co-steering so um, what's that? basically <laughs> following the coastline jump, jumping and swimming and, and right. all that yeah so um, it's really multi-sport and it's, it's non-stop so it's going to last maybe four to five days so yeah. sleep when you want to right, so. is that coasting a sport you're going to Sorry, have you have you no, done enough at this stage, Sean? Well, I, I've kind of I've planned a few things, but uh, uh, you know, stuff hasn't gone my way this year, so I'm rescheduling my my plan. So, uh, but I will definitely do something before the end of the year. I've entered in a, an Ironman in, in Wales in September, so 
I'll, I'll finish that out and then I'll, I'll reschedule from next year. That's about all part of your training or do you actually get to do it? No, we don't get to no. do it this year. I, I would like to take it on myself. Yeah. You know, I, I have a real interest in maybe a race around Ireland sometime, but it's just, uh, you know, the organising for a race around Ireland and the crew and, you know, it takes a lot of money to do a race mm. around Ireland and even race across America. So, you know, I would love to have a go at something like that um, in the near future, but at the moment I'll just, uh, I'll organise this one and see how it goes and hopefully this is a success and we'll take it from there. Is this an event now that you want to be an annual? thing or a or, or bi- biannual event that grows year on year we definitely do you know we we want it to grow like you know when, when we put it out there we contacted a few people about it like you know like the tourist board um, and th- they were really really happy that we were using the name of the Wild Atlantic Way Joan Crawford her name is so she's on board and you know only for her probably you know it probably wouldn't have happened and there's a lot of other people in the background that I suppose you know this doesn't happen just because me and Sean We've had to get a lot of sponsors on board and a lot of help, you know, and we, we need a lot of help to do it. But people want these kind of events in the county for some reason, and they want to do them and they want to help out. So we said we were, we were planning and put it together, and it's kind of gone from there, you know. Yeah. So it should be an annual event. Uh, fingers crossed it goes it goes well th- this year, and uh, we'll take it from there. You mentioned help. Obviously, marshalling um, is going to be required. There'll be a few numbers needed for that. And there's always support welcomed for, from, oh, from other is. avenues as well, Sean. Definitely, like well, Marshall's not really um as much in this because it's it's down to your your crew and your navigator in the van or the car behind you. Yeah. You know, a car has to follow you at all times, and we're gonna have a tra- a tracker on you, a GPS system, knowing where you are at all times. So there's not a wild lot of Marshall, uh, uh, you know, to be done on it. But there is going to be a few spotters out on the course to make sure that people don't cheat. You know, so we'll have them placed all over the over the area, but we won't tell the riders where they're going to be. So you know. Mm-hmm. Because that is a big distance to cover. It is a big distance to cover, you know, and some people, some people like to cheat in the middle of the night for some reason, right. but hopefully we don't have that in, in this one. So we're looking forward to it, you know, it's it's a good event, and myself and Sean think it's going to be a good success. So, yeah. uh, so once again, website, all the details, Sean. Yeah, um, registration's now open, so um, if you want to have a look and get more details, the Donegal Atlantic Way and uh, you'll also find it on Facebook. Yeah. Um, so... Have a look if it's the first time you've heard of it. If not, get signed up and um, get training, I suppose. Yeah, know. I'm sure you'll get a, a lot of good response now to it, and I'm sure they'll get a bit of momentum now in the coming weeks. Sean Stewart and Sean McFadden, many thanks for coming in Thank to you. the studios again, and uh, we wish you all the best with the Donegal Atlantic Way Ultra Race uh, come June time. Thank you. Thank you.